unconfirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second anniversary of the Southland Park tragedy. Pending a full investigation of the park's safety procedures. Authorities report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 Five years injuries. since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming form. malicious prosecution and believes Says he'll be he's vindicated spent every at last. penny of his fortune the so defending legal himself Eagles from these dream lawsuits. Team defending Southland Park all the oh time. There were people flying everywhere. Body parts. And the victim's Blood. families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that sorry ass dickhead. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs>
name of God is going on in here? Gotta check you, white bread. Alright, you cool. I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? It's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was, it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... And... Uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. Looking bitch like you don't need no fancy wrapping, do she? Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say, Who's that 
hands and stood on time our ribbon. I bet you could. Oops. That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. today, Caroline? No, Uncle Joe. You sure? You haven't been flirting with that bum out there all day, have you? I swear to God, Uncle Joe, no one's come by at all. Except Dell, and he's not a bum. Sure he's not. <gasps> Thanks, Caroline. That's all. Are you all right? <gasps> yeah, fine. Go on. <sighs> Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? I can't see. Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. 
Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack. Then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick, my apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch.
The scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was... Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? Myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look. ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. Ambassador Della Hunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theatre for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. Here is your jacket, sir. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. Here is beauty like What's going on here? Very years for Milan, but there is also much construction. Very busy. I'm well, sorry it's uh, not a more lovely uh, experience. I see, but it's an open rehearsal. Bien sûr. We have many guests all the time. You talk English. Today we have American ambassador to the Vatican. He watch from second floor loge. He come all the time. The ambassador's a big opera fan? Opera, maybe. Mainly I think he's a fan of Alvaro. More than fan more than friend. As to me, they are... Um, how would you say? I understand.
You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, There'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? 
See for yourself. Eleven forty five. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. It's dangerous to meet in person. You're normally more prudent. What's going on? Looks like we've got a mole at the agency. Here's your briefing. Thanks. I'll read it later. How's that wound healing? Fine. Are we done here? One thing. We haven't been able to get a positive ID on the target. There's a government agent in there already, though we think he knows. The price for his knowledge is getting him out alive. And that raises my price. Already factored in. Take this. Designer poisons? The clinic only lets clients out when they're fully recovered or dead. The injection puts its victim into a hibernatory state. Apply the antidote on the lips to revive them. What if this agent's already dead? I trust you, 47. The money's been transferred to your account. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn state's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons, so you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong with this Clinic 47. Keep your eyes open. You see that albino in here the other day? I thought he was a client. Turns out he was a guy. You. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Th this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. Ah! 
Identity obtained. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid, 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood.
Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. Sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday, and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. Control one here. Delvin camera two is on the fritz. That's the kitchen entrance. You want to check that out?
go now? Stupid drunken puta. Jesucristo! Now what? So, you didn't get it? It was quite a blow. That witness possessed information about the Ortmeier files, or their location. Ortmeier files? Dr. Ortmeier ran an underground cloning lab in Romania. We raided it as soon as we learned about it, but someone beat us to it. They'd ransacked the place, grabbed all the files, and killed everyone that worked there. Even Ortmeier. But that was the least of our concerns. What do you mean? We did find some papers later. Enough to prove that Dr. Ordmeyer created Mr. 47. No one else has successfully created a Class I human clone. Dr. Ortmeyer literally wrote the book. And somebody stole it? Not just somebody. Where's the nurse? Whoa. Sorry. I... I don't like being dependent. Something as simple as lighting a damn cigar, it's just... I apologize. Could you... Of course. 
So, who stole the research? We found a surveillance tape. It clearly showed Mr. 47 killing the guards and snapping poor Dr. Ortmeier's neck. So 47 wanted to build his own clones? More likely, he wanted to sell the research to the highest bidder. It lit a fire under everyone's asses. We threw everything we had at him. It's all there. Hello, 47. The American Secretary of the Interior is being targeted for assassination at today's Mardi Gras parade. We're not sure who's behind the hit, but our client wants you to prevent it by taking out the would-be assassins. There are three. The leader is Mark Pariah, Jr. His associates are Raymond Kolinsky and Angelina Mason. Kolinsky's a former world-class biathlete, so he's probably the trigger man. Mason is probably just recon and support. They're romantically involved and mentally unstable, so expect a violent reaction if either of them learns the other is dead. Their whereabouts are a mystery, but we've identified the payment on its way to them. The money should lead you straight to them. There'll obviously be a lot of civilians in the mix on this one, and a high-profile hit like this is bound to have backup units on site, so you'll have to be even more discreet than usual. There's the handoff. Follow that briefcase, 47. It's the only lead we've got.
Right this way, partner. The boss man.
At least you saved the secretary. Yes, and we found and killed one of Mr. 47's accomplices. He wasn't alone? No. They communicated by radio. What bothered us was the autopsy of the second assassin. He was a Class II clone. Class II? Fully functioning human clones, accelerated to adulthood. But they tend to die within 18 months of maturity. Tell me, just how widespread is human cloning? We can't know for sure, but I'm sure we'll see thousands within a few years. Why? Because of your jackalope president! He wants it legalized! Imagine that. The most insidious weapon the world has ever seen. And he wants to legalize it. <laughs> but the public... The public is an ass. Cloning is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction. It's a terrorist wet dream. But most Americans still support cloning, and... Hopefully, this interview will change a few minds. Maybe it'd help if they knew it was 47 that killed Chad Bingham's son. What? We even had our best agent on the spot. We were ready. Good to hear your voice again, 47. We got worried when you didn't get back to us. It was just a little thing requiring my attention. We've got an extremely delicate mission for you, if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Always interested. Just send me the briefing. Hello, 47. Your next assignment's in the Rocky Mountains. Senator Bingham is being blackmailed by pornography tycoon Lorne de Havilland, who has a compromising video of the senator's son, Chad. The video shows Chad playing a little too rough with a nightclub dancer during a creative sexual tryst at one of de Havilland's adult nightclubs. The girl didn't survive the encounter. Senator Bingham's involved in a tight re-election campaign. The video could cost him the election. So could any future misbehavior by his son. Our client wants Haviland and Chad taken out. He also wants the videotape. The clients arranged for Chad to attend de Haviland's annual tax day party at the Pawn Tycoon's mountain estate. We've got a recent photo of Chad, but de Haviland is camera shy, and the most recent picture we could get our hands on is 10 years old. This won't be easy, 47. The property isn't heavily guarded, but there'll be heavy security on the premises. Here, there's gonna be trouble.
behind the seat. Welcome to Mississippi, 47. 
A local gang known as the Gators handled the distribution of drugs up and down the Mississippi. The Gators moved their merchandise on a tourist riverboat. Our client wants you to shut them down. Your job is to eliminate the six Gator crew members and their boss. The client also wants any documents you find in the boss's safe, which is somewhere on the upper deck. The Gators stay in their private area on the top two decks of the ship. Access to that area is limited. We have no other information. Keep up the good work, 47. There's going to be trouble. No one has to get hurt here. Don't nobody shoot! Don't do anything stupid, pal. L 
No one has to get hurt here. Confectionary baked good. Uh, be a good little girl and fetch it for her. Mr. Julio.
Thanks. Hmm. Code red. You forgot your tip. That's all right. I insist. On the table by the bathroom. Mississippi client. Margot Leblanc has married the leader of the Blue Claws. They were just married in a civil ceremony, but they'll be having a private ceremony for friends and family to celebrate. Your targets are the groom and the father of the bride. The bride herself is absolutely off limits. We ought to be able to get you back to civilization after this one. Get out of here, buddy, or there's going to be trouble. Ah. Y'all trying to make...
this is where his story ends. Whose story? 47's. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. It's not his funeral. It is. But you didn't get him in Mississippi. No. We got close, but he slipped away. He knew we were on him, now. He was running scared. Where'd he go? Where does anyone go for a last desperate roll of the dice? Nice to be back in Civilization 47. It suited me. I had some business to attend to. Those missions out in the sticks may have bought us some time, but things are still deteriorating rapidly. We're still losing agents. You got the briefing? Yesterday. Got the pictures right here. Mohammed bin Faisal al-Khalifa, his scientist Tariq Abdul Latif, and Henrik Schmutz of South Africa. Interesting trio. The DNA angle is disturbing. This may tie into the group that's trying to liquidate us. Welcome to Las Vegas, 47. There's a white supremacist from South Africa. His name is Hendrik Schmutz, who is trying to sell some DNA material and lab reports to the wealthy Saudi sheikh, Mohammed bin Faisal al-Khalifa. The sheikh is working for someone else, but we're not sure who. Our client wants to force them into the open by disrupting the deal. You've got three targets, the Africana, the Sheikh, and the Sheikh scientist, who will be there to verify the material. We've been losing a lot of agents lately, 47. Any mission could be a setup at this point. Reservation. The name is Kropes. Let's see. There it is. Here's your key card. Our new key cards are floor specific, so they only give you access to the floor you're staying on. That's fine. Here's your key card. Alrighty sir. then. Okay. On behalf of Shamal Hotel and Casino, let me be the first to wish you a very pleasant stay, Dr. Kropes. Okay? Got it. Alrighty then. On behalf of
Weaken as a matter of fact. Politics is sound. Gonna have to search you, sir. Thanks. You're all set. 
You are Hendrik Schmutz. Yes, shake my hammer. Kamal, Ijlib al Almas. The merchandise will be inspected before payment is delivered. It is merely prudence. Of course you understand. Of course. It is a large casino. It is. Perhaps you'd like a drink? I'll pass. Yes, a very large casino. It's over, 47. I'm closing shop at this end. This will be your last assignment. There are two targets. Varna Ketlin, a former Romanian circus performer who's now a big player in the global grey market, and a CIA operative who's been playing both sides of the fence. Ketlin's hosting a masquerade party at the Shark Club in Vegas, and the CIA op will be there to close a deal. Even if this job isn't a setup, your presence will almost definitely be expected. You're our only surviving agent, 47. Find out whoever it is that's been coming after us. Eliminate both targets, and anyone that targets you, and exit in the vehicle I'll have ready for you in the parking garage. You've been a very effective agent. It's been pleasant to work with you. I hope the future is kind to you. So that's the deal. The dirty CIA agent will be there to drop the high-tech weapons on the host. Eliminate both of them. Anything else? It'll probably be crawling with other enemy operatives. Have you identified them? They're paid by the franchise. The franchise? That's Parchesi's group. What's their business here tonight? I think you are. You and I are all that's left of the Agency 47, and I doubt I'll survive much longer. I'm sorry to hear that. Has my fee been transferred? More than usual. I'm splitting what's left of the Agency's resources with you. Good luck, 47. It's been quite a ride. Good luck yourself. I left my briefcase here this afternoon. I was told it would be held in the staff room there. Could I have it, please? No one told me about any briefcase. Are you saying it's been stolen? Hold on, hold on, I'll check.
got some freaky folks tonight. Thanks. You're all set. Enjoying the party so far, sir? So far. Some pretty amazing babes, huh? You catch a singer? Damn, is she hot. Terrible singer, though. I hadn't noticed. Oh, yeah, I had a great singer lined up, but she had a fatal accident yesterday, and they needed a real quick replacement. Go figure. This babe can't sing for diddly, and she goes running off for a break in a private room every five minutes, but who cares? I candy like that. You take what you can get. I'll keep that in mind. Having a good time, sir? I suppose so. How about you? Tell you the truth, I'm dying for a chance at that hottie singing. First break I get, I'm heading straight to that room over there where she hangs out between sets.
Hero Show was amazing. The shark attack at the end was so realistic. How you figure she did that? You're not a very good bartender. Ah, Mr. 47. The fates conspire to throw us together at last. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Don't be coy with me, 47. I know all about you. You're just the ungainly outcome of a childish experiment with genetic tinker toys. Super assassin, indeed. You're less than human. And I intend to prove it. How do you intend to do that? We're going to duel. Meet me in the room marked Torture Chamber. Hey, handsome. best and second best assassins. Only the former will leave this room alive. The soundproofing will prevent any interruptions. Your equipment is positioned by the couch. Arm yourself appropriately, my mutant adversary, and we'll commence. If that's what you want. Hey, 47. Ow, oh, hey! It's me! It's me! Stop! It's me! I'm cool! Come on! Ah. What are you doing here? 
just relax, please. You're my only hope. There's no one else. Your only hope for what? They're gonna kill the president. Don't want him re-elected. He'll legalize cloning, ruin their plans. Who are they? You know... them. Already got a cloning program. Want the technology to themselves. They can have it. I don't play politics. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head. I've got millions. Got the diamonds back there. Red suitcases worth millions. All yours. What's the job? They want to hit the president in three days. In the White House. You get in there, protect him. Take the assassins out. Show me the money. <gasps> Thank God. Here's some. You get the rest after. What do you say? I'll contact you with instructions on how to get me the rest of the money up front. And how to get me the mission details. But then how can I be sure that- If you're on the level, I'll do the job. If you're not, you won't be needing the money. I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files? They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? Quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. <clears throat> have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchezzi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them because the man behind this assassination is the acting Vice President. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the Vice Presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull at every domestic agency. The assassins are probably already in position, in the White House, 
Unless you can stop them, the president will almost certainly be assassinated as soon as he returns from Los Angeles. Your targets are the notorious assassin, Mark Parchezzi III, and the vice president himself. Put your belongings on the conveyor and move along. They are mirages in the second bit. All the hell with it. Nice to see a little extra security at the White House. Daniel, I'm talking to you. Justice needs her walk. <gasps> Thank you. 
was seeing a cheerleader? Damn. So, you're the famous Mark Percesi the Third. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to.
47, Diana. What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak in. The place is surrounded by hundreds of SWAT members right now. They're getting ready to move in. I had to warn you, there's still time for you to escape. I've got a plan. I don't buy it. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart play would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. Borders don't stop them. You're my last chance. You know my terms. Cash on the nail. Don't you get it? You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Read carefully, 47. It's a bold plan. Where is this wheelchair guy right now? Ah! Bitch! Sorry, but this is the only way. You would have fought them whatever I said, and you would have lost. You're buying me one more night. We've got four minutes before he's cold, people. Let's move. I've never actually killed a man before. It was surprisingly pleasant. Very nicely done, Diana. You've earned my trust. Welcome to the franchise. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate role for you in the organization. A woman like yourself is entitled to a very special role, indeed. assassination attempt was the most reported story since 9-11. How can you expect me to believe that- I don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments before the assassination. I'll be damned. If cloning is an outlawed, we'll all be damned. Who actually killed him? That's the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin died of clumsiness. How'd you confirm his identity? His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. It's biologically impossible for anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that DNA. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your objectivity, Rick. Thank you. Don't mention it. We need to get to the chaplain. 47's ashes are going to take pride of place on my mantle. Chaplain! Chaplain! Yes, Your Majesty. Almost all of our resources are online again. No, I'm afraid he's not, Your Majesty. We seem to have completely lost track of him. Ah, hello. Uh, Mr. J. 
Johnson. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Welcome. May I check your briefcase? No, I'll keep it. I've heard interesting things about your establishment. I'd like to see what you have to offer. Preferably in the back. Ah, of course, sir. Right this way. 